A frightening new bullet that can guide itself is helping snipers to hit their targets by changing course in mid-flight to zoom in on stationary and moving targets. Here are the details. The Asia Times reports that the U.S.'s Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, recently made headlines when it showed video footage of a new bullet that changes direction to hit moving targets at long ranges. DARPA calls this new weapon the Extreme Accuracy Task Ordinance, or EXACTO for short. DARPA didn't give much information about how this top-secret weapon works, but it did say that the bullet is maneuverable and has a real-time guidance system that uses optical sighting technology. In addition, sketches, diagrams, and photos posted online show how the bullets are imagined by artists to work. All theories based on DARPA's wording suggest that the bullet has optical sensors in its nose area, which feed information to guide its electronics in the middle of the bullet, which in turn sends control commands to small control fins at the back of the bullet. DARPA says it created the bullet to increase the accuracy and speed at which snipers can fire bullets, as an inaccurate bullet risks troops' safety by announcing their presence and giving away their position. DARPA says the Exacto is a 50 caliber bullet and, when tested, a novice shooter managed to hit a moving target the first time he used the system. China has developed a space weapon that can creep into the tailpipes of enemy satellites where it would grab on and hide, waiting for the right time to blow up. Here are the details. The South China Morning Post reports that Chinese scientists say they've created a space weapon that attaches itself to the inside of an enemy satellite's booster exhaust cone. The scientists published their weapon research in the Chinese journal Electronic Technology and Software Engineering in September. They say that the weapon is designed to fit snugly in the exhaust cones of the gas boosters that move satellites around. The device weighs only 3.5 kilograms and, once it has entered the exhaust cone, would use an electric motor to extend a thin probe that can pass through the narrowest part of the booster. Once inside the booster chamber, the probe would expand to keep the device firmly attached and hidden inside the exhaust cone. The device can then wait for a long time before it detonates a special melt-cast explosive that burns slowly, simulating an engine malfunction and severely damaging the satellite. The scientists say the probe's attachment sequence can also be reversed to release the weapon from the target. The South China Morning Post says the U.S. military has already voiced concerns about China's Shijian-17, an experimental probe with a robotic arm that has conducted some unusual maneuvers since its launch in 2016. The U.S. Navy shot down an aerial drone with a solid-state laser weapon during a test off Pearl Harbor on May 16th, according to the Pacific Fleet. This exercise marked the first shot fired by the laser weapon system demonstrator at sea. Video footage released by the Navy shows the laser to apparently disable a target drone, which caught fire. The U.S. Navy Institute reports the prototype is the second iteration of the Navy's solid-state laser program, with the aim of creating a 150-kilowatt laser weapon. The amphibious dock Portland was selected as a test platform for the experimental weapon. Naval documents published by the drive suggest the laser should include power and cooling units, other subsystems, and integration with the Aegis combat system. According to the U.S. Navy Institute, the LWSD represents advancements in laser director and spectral beam combining technology, which combines multiple beams of different wavelengths into a more powerful laser. Additionally, the Navy is developing other lasers that will be suitable for the fleet's destroyers that lack the energy output for solid-state type weapons. These lasers would include hard-kill systems as well as less-than-lethal dazzlers that would dissuade approaching boats and disable surveillance platforms. In March, a Chinese destroyer used a laser dazzler on a U.S. aircraft, prompting a warning from the U.S. Navy on social media. Do not play a laser tag with us. The White House wants to sell $750 million worth of weapons to Taiwan. The newly proposed sale comes atop numerous other approved sales in recent years. These include dozens of F-16 fighter jets, ship killer missiles, long-range land attack missiles, and aircraft mounted reconnaissance sensors. Here are the details. Bloomberg News reports that the Biden administration has notified Congress of a proposal to sell $750 million worth of weapons to Taiwan. 
Included in the proposal sale are 40 self-propelled M109 artillery units, a number of other armored vehicles, machine guns, and almost 1,600 kits to convert standard artillery shells into smart weapons that can steer themselves toward targets. The U.S. State Department says the sale of self-propelled artillery vehicles, known as howitzers, would contribute to the modernization of Taiwan's howitzer fleet, strengthening its self-defense capabilities to meet current and future threats. When teamed with the 1,700 GPS kits for artillery shells, the mobile howitzers would be able to deploy quickly all over Taiwan and fire guided shells with high accuracy at incoming ships and invasion forces. The State Department added that, in addition to enhancing the Taiwanese military's capabilities, the weapons would also enhance enhance its interoperability with the U.S. and other allies. The proposal, brought forth under the State Department's Foreign Ministry Sales Program, will require the approval of Congress, where Democrats and Republicans have in the past united around the need for American support for Taiwan. Since 2006, North Korea's military dictatorship has been developing nuclear weapons and the long-range missiles that can carry them to U.S. soil. To counter this threat, the U.S. launched a controversial project to improve its ability to destroy these intercontinental ballistic missiles, or ICBMs, before they can reach the U.S. The Pentagon says it placed the latest version of an Aegis SM-3 missile on a U.S. Navy destroyer and adapted the ship's systems to fire and control the missile. Previous tests against ICBM targets had used intercept launched from underground silos in the U.S. On Tuesday, test personnel fired an unarmed ICBM from a U.S. test range at Kwajalein Atoll in the Marshall Islands. The upgraded Navy destroyer was situated northeast of Hawaii and managed to track the missile before firing an SM-3 missile at the ICBM. According to the Pentagon, the SM-3 scored a perfect hit, completely destroying the ICBM. Analysts have expressed concern that such a ship-borne anti-ICBM program would prompt Russia and China to build more ICBMs. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.